Ladies and gentlemen, we have a couple quick updates to go over today. One to do with this ever elusive Nintendo Direct. When the hell is this thing coming? Well, we might have an answer. And we have some news pertaining to Black Ops 6 and the Nintendo Switch. Yeah, I know it sounds strange. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So ladies and gentlemen, if you are not blind, you can tell that I am not in my normal setting. And if somehow you are blind, well, just pretend that I'm somewhere else than you normally imagine I am. I will be out of town for the next week, but I love making videos and I love talking to you guys. So the videos won't stop. The location will just be a little different. So bear with me. But this Nintendo Direct, do we finally have a real date for this thing? And Black Ops 6? I'm kind of optimistic about this one. And there's some news about Black Ops 6 and a Nintendo Switch. Before we get started, if you could hit a like and subscribe, it would truly mean the world to me. And let's just go ahead and get right into this video. We originally were trying to figure out when is this Nintendo Direct. And Nintendo said, hey, you don't have to speculate. It's going to come in June. So then everybody was like, awesome. We know this thing is coming in June. It's probably going to come the beginning of June because we have the Sony State of Play and we have the Xbox Showcase and Summer Games Fest. But that didn't happen. So then we had a leak saying that the Direct is coming June 11th. And to be honest, that kind of lined up with some other stuff and it seemed like that could be the case. But, well, it's officially June 12th, so that didn't happen as well. So then we seen another leak saying that it's coming the end of the month. Uh, I can't remember off the top of my head, but it was a 20-something. And while we don't know if that's true or not, maybe that's not the case either, and maybe we officially have the real date for this Direct. GameSpot might have leaked a Nintendo Direct date due to a Shadow Dropped Among Us trailer. Imagine out of every leaker and every inside information we've got, it was all because Among Us. Yes, very sus indeed. So this trailer was apparently uploaded by GameSpot and was taken down. Seems like the DLC is supposed to be shadow dropped on the 18th, which could be the direct date as noted by Brazil, to be in the second half. Tuesdays aren't common for directs as far as I know, but it lines up. Uh, I don't know, I feel like there have been a lot of directs that have been on Tuesday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. That's kind of what it is. So I think a couple of Nintendo presentations ago there was like a DLC uh, for Among Us, and I don't know if that came out or not, but I think Among Us does pretty well on the Switch, so I could see this happening at the Direct. Obviously when the Direct happens, some things are shadow dropped, uh, so this probably came out and then was backtracked on. But as of right now, everything that we've got, let's just say the 18th. Works for me, I hope it works for you too. So if you would ask me, how do you feel about Call of Duty and Black Ops, I would say I like playing zombies and I like the older ones, but the newer ones don't really do much for me. But Microsoft just revealed the Black Ops 6 trailer, and I think this is the first game that Treyarch has worked on for a very long time. And I'll be honest with you, it looks pretty awesome. So what about this game coming to the Switch? I know, it seems crazy. Why would that even be brought up? Well, I'll show you why. Eight months after this $68.7 billion acquisition went through, Treyarch and Activision revealed Call of Duty Black Ops 6, but the shooter has so far only been confirmed for PC and the latest two generations of Xbox and PlayStation consoles. Asked about the prospects of a Switch port in the light of Microsoft's publishing deal with Nintendo, Treyarch director of production Yale Miller dodged the question. I don't even know why this is like so much news as it is kind of more entertainment. It's like, no shit. No other Call of Duty made an appearance on the Switch. Uh, but I feel like it was at least worth asking, maybe. Alternatively, the developers may be waiting for the next Nintendo device, which is expected to be significantly more powerful and thus more capable of handling a contemporary multiplayer shooter without too many trade-offs. According to the recent reports, the Switch 2 is targeting a March 2025 release, thus being expected to hit the market mere months after Call of Duty Black Ops 6. So Black Ops 6 is coming out October. The Switch 2 in March. Could you imagine when they do the Switch 2 presentation? and they show all these new first party games and then they get into the third party stuff and you see a Call of Duty logo pop up on the screen, that would be freaking amazing, dude. I would be so happy. Uh, and you may think, Call of Duty, there's no way a game like this is running on the Switch. Well, there's this little game on the Switch called Warface and the best way I can explain it is it's a Call of Duty clone and I actually really enjoy it. It's a lot of fun, it's actually pretty addicting. Unfortunately, it has some pay to win mechanics to where you can like buy some more powerful guns and some stuff like that. But it looks and runs like a Call of Duty game and it runs remarkably well, all things considered. So if a game like that can run on the Switch, I think some Call of Duty stuff could run on the Switch. 
Like, I think we could get Warzone on the Switch. Maybe it's the mobile version. So I think in the background, Microsoft and Nintendo are probably working on some kind of deal to make sure that Call of Duty shows up maybe day one on this next Nintendo console. But ladies and gentlemen, even though I am away, out of town, out of state, out of city, out of mind, out of the world, out of the universe, I am somewhere. But I am also nowhere. <laughs> even though I'm not at home, I'm still dedicated to bringing these videos to you guys. The setup is not normal, the quality is probably not as good, but uh, I would really appreciate if you could bear with me. And I just appreciate your support in general. In the comments below, let me know your thoughts and opinions. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you could, I'd really appreciate a follow. And you guys know me, I'll see you soon with a new video. Peace out!